DV1 base, DV1 clear. Hi, welcome to BD Also Body, and today we're going to be doing a review on the DeVilvis DV1 base coat and clear coat gun. Uh, they come in uh, 1.1, 1.2 and 1.3. Okay, everyone's gone down a number now. So if you're used to using a 1.4, you want to be using a 1.3. If you're used to using a 1.3, you want to be using a 1.2. I don't know why they've done it, but they've done it. I've got a Sassajet here, me 100 BP, which is a 2.5, but it actually measures at 3 mil. What's all that about? Okay, you've got a couple of air caps with it on the base coat gun. You've got the B, which is the HVLP. And you've got the B+, plus, which is more of a conventional. If you look at the air holes, can you compare them to there to there? You can see the difference. This one I'm shaking here is the HVLP. Uh, they don't sell a lot of that. Apparently, they sell virtually all the guns they sell are these ones. Okay, it is a well-built gun. I've been waiting for a good feeling gun from uh, Devilbus for a while. It is well-weighted. Uh, the engineering's good on it. This is a test gun. I'd like to thank Devilbus for lending this to me, but... um. It's obviously been used a lot, and um, it still feels tight as a drum. Okay, it has had great reviews from a few vloggers I've seen online, from like the Gunman and Paint Society. Really good for laying down metallics. It's going to be fun to use today. I've got a test panel in the booth, which we just sanded off, and we're going to just go hit it with some solvent base coat. So let's get in there, and let's get going. Okay, so the test panel's ready. We're going to clean it off with some panel wipe and then we're going to tack it off. So let's give it a go, get it clean. Okay, full fan, full fluid, and I'm going to go for 20 psi. Let's give it a tack off and then let's hit it. Okay, so this really is the first time ever I've used this gun, and I'm usually using my WS400. So 10 years I've been using that gun, so to be trying something new today is a bit of a challenge, but I'm glad I'm recording it so you can all see what's going on. Now, we are on solvent base coat here today, and it is a warm day, so we're gonna be using a slower reducer slash thinner. And usually on the first coat, it can go on quite mossily, quite blotchy, but I'm quite impressed at the moment. So what we're gonna do is it has flashed off. So I'm gonna have a tea and I'll see you in three. Okay, coat number two now, a quick tack off and a blow and then we'll hit it. Thank you. 
Okay, that's two medium wet coats I've given this now. And if you know solvent base coat and you know like the Talix, you can know how difficult it can be to get it to lay down smooth with no blotching and no mosseling. And there's loads of different factors in that with your gun setup, your air pressure, your thinner slash reducer. This is the first time I've used this gun today and I haven't even started trying to dial it into what I want to do. And it is only a test panel, so I'm quite relaxed with it. But the finish already, it's gone on really silky, really smooth, no blotching. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to bother with a drop coat because I don't think it needs it or an orientation coat. I'm going to mix some clear up. I'm going to get a second gun out, the DV1 clear, and let's go for it. Just mixing some cheap HS clear, the Roberto 250HS. I use it on cheap jobs and stuff. And if we can get a good finish with this, we can get a good finish with anything. So uh, let's have a look at the gun. Dun, 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 dun. The Vilvis DV1 clear coat gun. What a nice looking gun. Look at that. Uh, it's got the C1 air cap. I don't know if you can read that. What a, looks a bit grubby. It's well used this air cap because this is a loan gun from Devilvis. They've lent me this. Uh, it's got the digital readouts on it. Once again, don't be spending four, 450 quid on a gun and skimping on 50 quid and not buying the gauge. Just do it. It works really well and it's easy to use. So uh, let's get in the booth and let's smash some clear down. So I've just tack cloth the bonnet off ready for clear coat and there's no paint, no residue on this tack at all. So that means it's laid down really efficiently and there's no dust on the panel from any kind of overspray. So let's hit it with a DV1 clear and let's see how we get on. Okay, first coat that's laid down nice. I'm only running it at 25 PSI just to try that out. So coat two, here we go. Well, pictures speak louder than words, and that finish looks bob on. Obviously, adjusting the pressures and whatever, you can change your OEM, you can get a bit of peel in there, you can get it completely flat, you can do whatever you want. With practice, makes perfect. Is the DV1 clear coat gun good enough to pull me away from my WS400? I don't know, it sprays very similar to the base coat gun. The base coat gun, I'm very impressed with. It lays down the metallics, really smoothy, really silky, hardly any muscle or anything like that. And that's the first time I've used it. So in my opinion, great guns. Do you need both of them? Well, that's up to you. I'll get the base coat gun, definitely. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.